what's up guys welcome back to a brand new video today's video is a, has been a highly requested video a lot of subscribers have been asking for it I've gotten emails for it and it is on air hammers okay this is snap-on versus Ingersoll Rand and we're gonna be doing my experience with um, the Husky air gun air hammer uh, the Ingersoll Rand 118 MAX and the snap-on, what is it, uh, PH3050BR. Uh, those are the two we're going to be going over today. And then the Husky, which Husky only has, well, Husky has two of them, but it's their professional series, the black one. Um, also, too, I want to let you guys know that starting next Saturday, all videos will be filmed in 4K. The new camera is amazing. Here's some pictures of it. Um, oh, we got a, uh, we got a few more green screens. So the whole, uh, room, the, the, the back wall, the ceiling and the floor is all green screened out. Production is going through the roof here within the next two weeks. Production will be amazing. The videos will look astounding. A lot of you guys have been asking for the new camera and get off the cell phone. I get it. I got it. It's done. Next Saturday be the, be the start of that. Anyways, let's get into this video. Enough of me bullshitting. These are the pros and cons of both guns. The Ingersoll Rand 118 Max and the Snap-on PH30550BR. All right, first, first difference is, as you can see, the Ingersoll Rand comes with a very nice blow-molded case. Nothing on the bottom, just a, just a rectangle. But these clips are very, very nice. They come up, out, flip. They feel quality, all right? So there's one thing. These are all reasons why I chose this over the Snap-on. I love blow-molded cases, <laughs> but amongst other things. And here we have it, okay? The 118 MAX Ingersoll Rand. Now, uh, I want to point this out that this air hammer did not come with that retainer. It came with this one right here. That one there was from Bill, and it was brand new from his, and he already had one, so he gave me that one, and I like it a lot more. It's actually got like a cone shape, as you can see. It uh, looks like Darth Vader's helmet, like a Lego version of Darth Vader. And then this one here is just flat. I feel like this one would be better to grab to uh, release your, your bits. Okay, anyways, now this kit comes with the five, five bits, the blow molded case, your literature and everything. Snap-ons does not come with, it, it is not a kit. It is the gun and the um, quick change chuck retainer. That's, that's all the snap-on comes with. Um, this here also has the... Uh, I don't know what you would call this, but the, I don't know, twistable air chuck, which is good for lines and stuff. But you can always get one for the snap-on and put it on. I, mean, like the, I know Blue Point makes them, like the universal adapter that spins and flips. All right, so let's get into some specs here. The um, Both of these guns are 2,500 BPM, which is blows per minute. And that's, that's a pretty good number. It, it gets the job done. And we have for weight, total weight, which is without your retainers, are 4.6 pounds on this one and 5.9 on the Snap-on with a difference of 1.3 pounds. So this is 1.3 pounds lighter than the Snap-on, which is a pretty significant difference. Now, the... the the length of the tools, each one. The snap-on comes in at 9 inches. And this one comes in at 10.5 inches. Again, without the retaining chuck. So this one here is a little longer. And in snap-on's defense, that 1.5 inches might get you somewhere, whereas this one would get stuck. Okay. Now, the total piston stroke for both of these guns is, this one is 3.5 inches. 
and the snap on is three inches. So this one's a little longer. It's got a, a longer stroke and uh, which uh, Ingersoll ran wins that one. Um, we said the gun length. Now for one of the last ones we have is uh, the sound decibels. This one comes in at 94.7 and the snap-on comes in at what in the fuck computer? 91.4 so that's pretty much your your pros and cons and your haves and your have-nots for both guns. I will say that this is a comfortable damn gun and it actually looks really cool. Cosmetically, I think Ingersoll Rand did a better job than Snap-on, as you can see the Snap-on here. Um, I just, cosmetically, I think it looks better. I mean, everyone's opinion's going to differ from person to person. I mean, at first I was a little, eh, about the design, but then I looked at Snap-ons and I was like, man, that's kind of plain. You know, I'm not by any means knocking Snap-on. We all know how much I love Snap-on and I love buying their tools and I love getting ass raped by them. But this one had to go to IR. And I'm going to tell you the price difference. Now, the, again, this one was $189.99 and then the Snap-on is $411.95 with a $200 total difference. $200, what is it, $200.04? If my math serves me correctly, which is probably wrong. So, if you guys are thinking about an air hammer and don't care if it's snap-on or not, this is the route to go. This is a new product by Ingersoll Rand. And I'll tell you, I used it on a lower ball joint. And it popped the son of a bitch right free. It, it was probably a good four or five blows, and it popped right free. Um, I do have the pickle fork attachments, obviously. And on air hammers, as you guys already probably know, the pickle fork is one of the best adapters. And uh, it's just great. My next tool is probably going to be the the fan clutch tool. And it's for the pneumatic impact gun, or air hammer guns like this. And it goes right on and fucking whacks the nuts free on the, uh, on the fan clutch. Which is very, very nice. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informational. And by the way, uh, you guys seen that I had the Husky version of this? Well, here's the deal. Here's what happened. The Husky version is a little shorter than this. But I'll tell you what, if you guys don't have the $200 or the $400, go with the Husky. And yes, mine broke, but that was due to neglect. I oiled it once the day I got it and haven't oiled it in the past year. And it shit the bed. And that air hammer was a damn good air hammer for $49.99. You guys can go to Home Depot and check it out. It was a fucking amazing gun. It, I was so surprised and blown away by what I got for $49.99. So, anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video. If you didn't like it, whatever, dude. Click the thumbs down. I don't care. There's haters everywhere. I'm just trying to provide you guys with information. So.